Good morning, Maya Barback. Here's the plan. We'll be setting up a ramp and all of the guys in the crew who have a motorcycle will be trying to jump the house. It's not true. More of the same as yesterday, but if I just say that, everyone's gonna switch off now. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, we'll start here, where more of the same means removing more of the forms from the carport and storage area and revealing the runner beams. And there was a question of whether these were vibrated and the answer is yes, they were. And they look very good. There is a small section, I'll zoom in in the edit over there, where the top seems a little bit rough and ready. Not sure why that would have happened, but along the bottom, uh, well, on the sides, there is very, very little in the way of a points so far. Uh, no injuries, just dropping some metal on the floor. Uh, more of the same here means the last two levels of concrete hollow block going on in this corner. Uh, that's going to be it for the height, excluding the top beam. So this section, without doubt, well, with almost no doubt, will be up to the height, excluding that beam today. And who knows, maybe they'll get some progress with the beam as well. Then I believe they'll move over to this section and start on those last two sections of wall that have yet to be built. And here, more of the same, clearly means more scaffolding, more work on the tie beams, more supports going in for the slab. Uh, Graham Cebu Philippines commented that he hoped that this would, uh, when they pour the slab, which is scheduled for sometime in December. When they pour it, uh, he hoped it would be a, using ready mix trucks again, and he hoped that it would be uh, a pour that included the beams, as well as the slab itself. And the answer is yes and yes. Ready mix trucks, including pouring the beams. And we will continue to monitor what happens with stirrups and I will still, I still owe you a comment about pouring the top of the columns where the beams meet uh, and we need to have a further discussion about that. Something I've been meaning to do for quite a long time and I feel quite bad about not having done it before now. I want to give a very specific shout out to another YouTube channel here in the Philippines. It is Len and Robert in the Philippines. And the reason I want to give them a shout out is because I think they've done something that uh, I think is quite admirable. They have basically collated uh, a series of channels and they've found their favorite Philippine YouTube channels and they've put out a list on their channel, Len and Robert in the Philippines. Uh, and they were kind enough to include us as one of their channels. That's less relevant than the fact that I admire what they've done. I admire the fact that they are supporting other channels in the Philippines. And so, my request to you is go and give them a look. Uh, their channel is, it does cover about house building, about building their house. Uh, but it's much wider than that. It covers a lot more about life here in the Philippines. So, that's my request. Len and Robert in the Philippines, go and have a look. I've mentioned other channels in the past. I've mentioned channels like Casa Tex Pina. Um, and George and Emmy from Casa Tex Pina have been incredibly helpful to us in the early parts of our build here. Uh, and there are many other channels out there that I think you should go and have a look at, and a great starting place to find them is Lennon Roberts' channel. So, check them out.
Thank you. We've been away most of the day and come back to find that it's not just more of the same. It's all getting a little tiny bit darker inside the house because, as you can see, they have started to put some of the wooden base of the forms down for the second floor slab. So, if you stuck around, you've seen something exciting. Well, maybe not exciting, but not just more of the same. Let's look from a different angle. I'm standing on the north side of the house with my back to the perimeter wall. And here we've got a roof over the helper's quarters. Well, not a roof, but uh, some wooden forms over most of it. It doesn't quite extend to the end yet. That won't take long. Further down, there is more. And further down, at the front of the kitchen, there is more. And further across, there's a little bit more. They've been busy chaps. I can't for the life of me remember how far we got with this previously. Anyway, all of the forms are now off of that runner beam. All the way around, the surfaces look extremely good to me. If you, I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit on the edit and you'll see that the top is rough and ready. I suspect that does not matter one tiny bit and in fact may be positive because there are more concrete hollow blocks to go on there so rougher surface presumably means better adhesion. This morning they were working on this part of the wall. They finished this part of the wall with the exception clearly of the top beam and the upper part of the columns but that all got done pretty much by about 10 a.m today which meant they had time to move on so they moved over here where we had just a hole or a series of holes we did have that uh, base beam in there but that was all it was we are now at one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, five levels of concrete hollow block. Plus that intermediate beam has been poured. Great progress from the front wall team. That's it, day 55 done. This is actually take two of the wrap up the 4.30 update. Did it earlier and the audio was rubbish, which is a real shame because I saw Webb, who's one of the overnight crew today, was uh, walking across from the bunkhouse towards the storeroom. And he, number one, was still wearing his hard hat, despite the fact there's no one here to tell him to do so. But number two, he said as he departed, Mayapa Gat Panapun, which is good afternoon, good late afternoon technically, which would have been a perfect finish to the day, and I blew it with the audio. So you have to have it from me instead. See you tomorrow. Mikitana Bukas. <laughs>